everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the PLC programming example of a sorting station. And what we'll actually look at is the operation of the sorting station. And uh, this is part of our five steps to PLC program development, which are defining the task, defining the inputs and outputs, developing a logical sequence of operation, uh, developing your program itself and then testing your program. So this is a combination of a couple of different ones but this is actually will show you exactly what we want when we define our task and we look at the um, logical sequence of the operation of our project. And so what you'll see up on my screen here is I have um, the sorting station. We have factory IO and this is a standard uh, sorting um, operation scene that you can call up and what you'll notice is that um, we have a incoming supply of products and those products are on a conveyor and it will convey over to, to a sensor that's located on top here which will read the color of the object and then it will carry on in the next conveyor which will have three different shoots and each one will then uh, separate those shoots down these conveyor uh, shoots into the receiver which then the product will disappear and what you'll notice is I have this connected Modbus uh, TCP IP into my do more uh, uh, bricks PLC which is located right here and we're communicating through the Ethernet port here and the USB port is communicating to my programming which is the do more uh, version 2.1 now so we can download those uh, versions so if we look at the actual operation of this unit we'll just blow this up here and what you'll see is we have an exit sensor that's located right back here and what it does is detect if we're going to be a pile up or not so if I can uh, using the factory IO I can turn on a failure just to show you what will actually happen and we open that up so the sensor is no longer functioning we see a timer timing down and after five seconds you'll see that on my control panel I do have a flashing light now and that flashing light actually represents that I do have a error um, in the unit which is a jam sensor so let's re re repair that error now other things that are on the control panel is we have an auto and a manual. When we have it in manual, it will allow us then to reset the counters by hitting the reset button. And you see that happens. You'll see my start and stop button. The start will only happen when I'm in um, automatic mode. So we'll turn that to automatic mode. And then we can, and we have an e-stop that will e-stop any time. So we'll hit start and what will happen is as these uh, products are scanned it will actually track them using a shift register in the program. But let's just uh, turn that on and so we're actually running the product now. So we'll change our view and you'll see the blue ones will actually go in the bottom here. The base units always go in the first one and the green ones will go in the far section. So there's my can count so far. There's my color sensor which is detecting when it's actually monitoring and measuring the uh, unit coming in. There are my three uh, turners. And the delivery of the product coming on the conveyor belt is totally random, so I don't know when it's going to happen. So what we actually do is, once it sees the scan here, we actually monitor how long it takes to get down to the conveyor belt and then sort that product. Going back, there's my count value currently. Now at 
any time, we can stop it, and that stops the operation. You'll also notice that if I back up, there's still a product on there. As soon as I resume, it will continue and still um, uh, count that product. It's not until I hit the reset button here that it actually will eliminate the product from our tracking. So that is the operation of our sorting station that we have. Now if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Now remember all these links, the documentation can be found on our website, along with another video that will show the full explanation of the program and how we are actually tracking this, uh, these products as they come down the conveyor and being sorted into three destinations. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.